you, yeah. you make some pretty amazing things. The Sergeant Rock that we yeah. have out front tonight <laughs> that we've had some photos of uh, here on the show. A, a work of art. It's not just something that is mechanical. <laughs> well, thank it's you. It's a work of art. <laughs> Uh, what's the inspiration behind that? When I saw it in the field, it was like, I, I've got to do something with that, and I wanted to do a military tribute. And uh, when you look at it, I don't know if you guys had a chance to look at the tailgate on it, but the mural on the tailgate goes clear back to the Revolutionary War, and you have to look and see what is all hidden in there. And the artist that did it is just phenomenal. And the thing that I put on there, you'll notice there's one headstone with the scripture on it. Yeah. It says, you know, greater love has no man than to lay down his life for another. There's nobody that actually died for his brethren like an American soldier. Mm. There's a reason for that. And it goes back to the way our country was founded on Christian principles. And so it was important to put that on the tailgate because we forget that. It is a powerful reminder. Yeah. And yes, we do forget that, don't we? Yeah. But you take what people would look at and say, that's junk. And then by the time you get finished with it, it is a piece of art. It is an automotive treasure. And you've been doing that on your show for 20 years. But there's something you do. You try to also help the ordinary guy know how to do some stuff. Yeah. Uh, Gears is a uh, how-to show. It's not a reality show. We don't do the reality stuff. And basically, the idea behind it is to teach people how to build things and how to be creative. Uh, we are creative people. And... That used to be something that fathers taught their sons. That's something you used to learn for the Boy Scouts and this kind of thing. It's not happening now. And so we get letters in where people are like, you're the only father figure I've ever had. That's, mm. a, that's a hard letter to read. Yeah. First of all, because it's like it shows you the impact you're having. Second of all, it's like, where's the fathers? Mm. And so it's important to show guys, you know, especially young guys, how to work with their hands, how to create something, how to build something. That's out of the ordinary, because we're all unique. We want to be unique, and we want to drive something unique. You know, so that's the approach on it. And the other thing that I find amazing about you is that this great artistic ability you have with mechanical things and with automobiles and trucks, but you're a, a studio musician. How do you balance uh, the music end of your life and this extraordinary television show and all of the things that you do? Well, I came to Nashville in a 65 Mustang Fastback with two guitars and a thousand bucks. <laughs> and you heard that story before. And I was really fortunate. I, I worked at Opryland a number of years. I did a lot of sessions, worked on the road some. I was a hired gun. So I was also building cars at the same time. And I started to get known more for my cars. People were like, who's the dude with a 64 vet? Yeah. And it's like, well, that's me. It's like, the guitar player, <laughs> you know? So anyway, um, I opened a shop called The Rattle Trap, and I got to a point that I was like, I needed to take a break from the music industry. And so I started doing the shows, and now I play music for fun. But I wanna to say to our audience, if you've not seen Stacey David's show, Gears, or his incredible array of custom vehicles, get over to stacydavid.com.